Hello everyone, this is Sandra, Spirit of Avalon. Um, so this is the haul from Glastonbury. Now I know I asked you guys if um, in my community part on my channel if you would like me to um, do it in all in one section, one, one video, or split it into two. Um, because there was quite a lot of things from Sons of Asgard. Now, I might, I know I asked you, and the majority, just about anyway, um, it was 59% to 41% um, for it to be in one video, but because of um, time and how um, I've only got a set kind of window of time, it might have to be in two videos which I'm really sorry if that does happen, but, um, yeah. So, as you all know, I went on a trip to um, Glastonbury, stayed in a lovely cottage, Moonstone Cottage, um, with Simon, and it was lovely just to be in my um, special place, my magical place. Um, with a lovely friend as well it's that is just like perfection um, to have that um, and I'm sorry about I haven't put much makeup on because I was rushing um, and the, the light is a bit horrible so that's making me look really washed out but <laughs> you know so yeah it was it was such a nice time the Chalice World Gardens and we had it almost to ourselves um, with it being a different time of year because I'm used to kind of going in the summer and um, I'd never seen it in autumn before so it was really lovely and the cottage was just amazing I mean the things that they provided you know you had like a little um, sacred space you'll have probably seen this if you've watched Simon's vlog anyway a little sacred sp space they provided oils, tea lights, incense oil burner all sorts of things like that and I thought it was just so lovely and it was really old from 1790 I think so it had all those like latch doors that I love um, the only thing that happened and that's just me being like a klutz <laughs> was that I fell down the step into the bedroom and my leg is still it's just like a huge bruise from the knee down but still <laughs> I still managed to um, climb the tour and do things so that's the main thing so yeah so we better get started I've got a whole pile of bags and things here now I'm not going to do this in any order because I don't remember what day I bought things um, a couple of things I can remember I, I bought on the first day but most of it I bought like on the second day and stuff so let's just start with the boring stuff to get that out of the way because um, I picked up some incense in um, in Dillaway and Dillaway because they do a lot of um, they do a lot of different incenses like a lot of Indian incenses <laughs> Uh, well, I know a lot of incense is Indian anyway, but you know some that you've not kind of heard of. But they also do a lot of the Satya range. So I thought, right, while I'm there, I picked up another two Midnights. Because I love this incense, Midnight. It's so good. Um, another Black Champa, which I really like and another patchouli forest which is really cool so what, as you can see they're £1.50 each which is not bad you know they could ramp the price up being where it is and stuff but they haven't for those so that was um, that so I'm going to be <laughs> putting stuff over there as we go um, I got two candles this is actually on the last day but I got two candles from Star Child, and they're not the frothy candles. Um, I still have a couple of those, but um, I thought I've got some candle holders that hold this kind of pillar candles, um, the tall candles, 
um, nicely. So I got these, which it's like they're rainbow candles. I've got some some in a different colour as well, so you get like the two. Um, so we've got red and green. I know we've got yellow in the middle, but I thought I might put them on my altar for you all anyway, even with the yellow in the middle, I don't mind. <laughs> it doesn't always have to be Zach, does it? <laughs> so um, there was those two candles. And those were from Star Child. That was the only thing I bought in Star Child, I think. Um, but they are really nice in there, and it's it's a lovely shop. Um, so that was those. We also went into a shop called um, White Rabbit, um, and I got one of these. Um, Simon also got one, but I mean, just look how cool that is. It just looks so nice, I think, on there, of the tall. I loved it. It says Glastonbury tall on the top, and you get like a tea light in it. But I love it because it's wood, and I love anything that's like made of wood. Um, it's like it, I can feel like tingles from this, like there's there's energy to it. But then it has come from Glastonbury, so kind of, yeah, that that figures. <laughs> um, then what did I do? Then um, I got one of um, these books, the 2023 Witch's Diary. I was going to get um, the Earth Pathways Diary, but Simon showed me his copy of this, and I thought, oh, wow, there's so much in it. Um, and I think this would be more useful to me than the other one. So I was really glad to be able to pick this up. And this I got in the Goddess and the Green Man. Um, so yeah, the 2023 Witch's Diary. And you've got all sorts of stuff in there. Um, I mean, you've got your pages to write things, but you've got so much information. I mean, even invocations look. So that's like really cool. So this is going to be be nice um, just to write bits and pieces down in here. Um, I might kind of keep it for witchy things and maybe tarot, something like that. But that's the 2023 Witch's Diary, which I really love. Um, I did buy a deck also in The Goddess and the Green Man when I bought The Witch's Diary, which I'll get to the decks at the end. Um, but I bought the deck, a deck and that, and the lady in there was so lovely, and she said, oh, I'll put you in some of our incense, and she gave me this box of incense for free, which I thought was really lovely. You know, she didn't have to do that. And she said it's her favourite, and these normally are two pounds. But she gave me it, and it's rosemary, which I really love anyway. Ethno tribal smudge incense. So it's a lovely box. Look at that design on it. So they have a whole range of this Banjara incense in um, Goddess and the Green Man, and they are also online. Anything that I can link. I will link in the description below, like I know the Goddess and the Green Man have a website that you can order from, so, and any others that do, I will, I will show you, um, I will put it in the description down below. So that was that. Now, record. We also went to the Chalice Well, um, which was, you know, really lovely, and I love going to the Chalice Well. I'm just thinking, I'm having to remember what I bought, guys, I'm telling you, because this was like last week. <laughs> I think, I think I only bought one thing in the Chalice Well shop. Oh, I know what else I bought. Um... It was a magnet. I don't know if it's in here. Hold on a second, guys. So 
I'm so unprofessional with this. When Simon did this, it was all like perfect. Not me. Oh no. <laughs> of course not. Um, I don't know what bag it's in at the moment, but there was, um, I did have a, I might have even put it on the fridge already. Anyway, it was um, a Chalice Well um, fridge magnet. Um, I mean, I could get up and see if I, just, just hold on a second. Let me see if I can find it. Right, we're back. <laughs> I did put them on the fridge already. So, um, so look at this one from the Chalice Well, like when it's dressed. So lovely, isn't it? When they dress it in the sort of summertime. And I've got one of the tour, of course. Have to. So those two fridge magnets I got as well. And the other um, item I got is in here. This is obviously from Chalice Well um, Shop. It does tend to be a little bit pricey, you know, for some things. Um, but I think a lot of gift shops are anyway, aren't they, wherever you go. Anyway, so it's St Justin, which um, it's pewter jewellery. Um, so let's see if I can get this correct so you can see it. So it's a pair of earrings which are the Chalice World symbol and I just thought they were lovely. Actually Simon spotted them and said, oh look at these earrings. I said, ooh, they're nice. They did have as well a green man necklace but I thought I can't get both because you know it's not cheap. So I did get the earrings. I really like those. Um, so that was nice. Yep, so there was those. Um, we also went to Avery. Well, that was so lovely because Avery is my second favourite place after Glastonbury, and I'd never been there with Simon before, so it was really, really nice um, to go there like you know with him for the first time so that was really um cool you know like things things are when you go with friends and it, it like makes a difference and i think you know things feel different when you go with different friends as well it, it does make a difference i'm sorry about that scratching in the background it's my cats in the litter tray they wait until i i start filming but um you just, just have to ignore it, guys. They're probably going to go on and on and on now. Um, so, yeah, so in Avery, they've actually got two shops. Um, the main shop is the Hen Shop, the one that I really love. But they have another shop called Elements. Um, and they have a lot of crystals in there. Very expensive, actually, their crystals and a lot of the other things in there. They do do some um, of the Star Child range in their candles and the oils and things like that. So that that's actually handy um, if you were going to Avery and you needed um, something ex you know something Star Child wise that you would then wouldn't have to go all the way to Glastonbury for or um, get on their website because again they're another one that do, that does have a website. So in there in elements first um we went into elements first and i've got scissors here isn't it i'm prepared so <laughs> um, again you're probably going to think oh my god she's obsessed with magnets <laughs> but these were so lovely i mean look at this one it's got avebury on it and it's all sparkly who doesn't like a bit of sparkle guys look at that so I love that 
and then there was another one that I just had to get because of course it's the green man and they're on like this really solid like slate with a really strong magnet on the back and these were 3 95 each and very very cool I love it I love that they're on these pieces of slate it's like really different to what you would normally sort of see I'm trying to kind of um, wrap things back up a little bit because I don't want anything to get damaged then in the henge shop I got um, bookmark a freestone circle I like to get these types of bookmarks in places if I can um, so I got that I also got um, one of these little and they're called wooden books and they do a whole range of them and I got the native British trees one which is just handy for like quick just a quick like page and um, a, a drawing um, just for quick identification or if you just want to look something up quickly I thought it was a good one so yeah I got that so I'm really pleased with that um, I got two other books are oh, this one actually I this one I forgot I got this in um, elements as well so at Avery but in the elements shop and this is weird Wiltshire too and obviously somebody must um, you know produce these um, because you had to pay um, in cash for this and the lady put it into a separate envelope so it's obviously whoever produces these where well, it says printed by Mike Horan printing in Wiltshire so there was that that was from elements as well um, and the I got another book as well or booklet from the hen shop which is rewilding with the labyrinth also very cool it sounds really good on the back it says in rewilding with the labyrinth mark willem brook willem bush maybe i might be saying that wrong presents an introduction both to the labyrinth and to the power of plants that's what i love in his charming storytelling style he leads his reader on a winding path to the centre and out again outlining how the labyrinth can reawaken our senses and connect us with nature by describing his own personal journey mixed in with some modern science and ancient wisdom Mark demonstrates how the labyrinth helps us to be present in the moment realising that all of nature is infused with spirit and learning directly from the plants um, so that's what it's like in size you've got like drawings and it's kind of in that kind of handwriting style but there's medicinal uses backstory to the herb labyrinth I just thought it looked really interesting it just caught my eye so um, I did get I did get that as well and the last thing that I got um, in Avery in the hen shop now this was quite funny because it says that it's a touch wood totem and this one happens to be ash for foresight energy and protection and it looks like this so it's like a pendant and Simon just <laughs> Simon just went is it a penis and I was like no but when we actually read um, what it said on the information where these works there was about four or five of them different ones it actually did say that it was a phallic symbol so he was right <laughs> um, phallic symbol so I don't care I said oh well could I just be wearing a penis really but this was the one that actually called me and I, you know I love things wooden so 
I couldn't resist and you know they're handmade and it comes with this with this card but it's so tiny on the back you can hardly read it it says since the dawn of time touchwoods have been used to heal body and soul offer protection guidance and connect us on a spiritual level with nature may the trees be with you but you can see there's a whole load of other texts there that you can barely read so I literally would have to get a magnifying glass to read that but I thought it was cool because you know it's a touchwood totem and you know they're handmade and stuff so I was really pleased with that um it was just funny about the whole like, penis thing but <laughs> never mind um right so I've also got a couple of items from Wildwood so I'll give you these bags with Wildwood it did have like a little flower thing on it but that kind of came off so I've got two things here because one I bought one day and then I went back <laughs> I'm a nightmare in shops this is why I don't often um go shopping with people because I'm sure I would be really annoying to a lot of people because I'll look I'll have to go and look around the shops first and kind of suss everything out and then it's like ooh, um, oops. I'll go back and get that you know it's just so this now I saw these in another shop and they were really tiny like this size and then I saw this bigger one in Wildwood and I just had to oh just look at him he's a little tree man and what is cool is he has this with a lovely little blue globe he has an owl he has um, a book there that the owl is sitting on see very well but there and look little toadstools or mushrooms here how cool is he I said to Simon oh, I have to that's the back of him but he was a bit bigger than some of the others that I'd seen so I'm really happy to have him he's going to go on my altar space of course so when I change up so I am going to change up my altar area when I do I will I will show you guys and I'll film it so that you can um, see it oh, now I'm going to get all stuck <laughs> with things but just keeping them like that because I haven't like sorted things properly yet and this oh my god this is also from Wildwood and this was on the last the last day and I, I now I haven't had an Athame for a long time a long time I was just using a wand in place of in place of the Athame um, because I hadn't seen any that I liked and I thought no I'm not just going to get anything I have to like it and I'm going to I can feel like um, tingles all over me now and so I got this one it's so perfect with this antler or part of a deer antler for the handle and it fits my hand perfectly it's blunted so it's not um, sharp because um, if you're using it as an athema, you don't really need to have it sharp. Some people do, but and it says on it, athema ethically sourced deer antler. But this was so lovely. Um, Simon also got an athema, and his has got a wooden handle. Um, and what was funny was that it's a husband and wife that make these, and it was the husband that had made Simon's. And the wife, the lady that had made mine, so really, um, 
strange but quite cool sunrise it just feels so lovely it looks really weird doesn't it me waving a blade around but honestly guys it is not sharp um so that i was like over the moon with that because um i've been saying to someone i haven't had an apple made for years and i said did they have other ones in then he said yeah they did and i thought yeah, I'm going to go back and have a look. If I hadn't have liked any, then I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have got it. Because, you know, something like that, where it's like a witchy tool, I think you have to kind of, um, you know, be, be sure that it's, it's what you want. Okay, so I'm sorry about all the rattling and things here guys um so decks <laughs> right so the first one i got was in labyrinth books and i've never seen this deck before i don't know if any of you have obviously they are all still wrapped but i will do walkthroughs um and this is a 50 card deck and guidebook untamed spirit animal oracle i don't know if any of you have ever seen this before i hadn't and i just thought it's cool it's a black and white deck you can see some of the cards there and the price which was 21 pounds which i didn't think was bad actually for an independent shop um and i don't know if this is an indie deck or not I think it might be, but I'm not 100% sure, so I wouldn't like to to say. This guy, illustrated by Rocco Lombardi and edited by Francesca Mattioni. So yeah, so looking forward to this. So that was one deck. Another deck I got, and this really... Um, I got this because I've got all her other decks and that is Cheryl Yambrat Rose and I love her decks. Now this is the Mystique of Magdalene. Now I know that Cheryl has said that this is not a Christian deck and that you need to read the book so I will be doing that before I do a walkthrough of this because that was the one thing that put me off is that I looked and I thought, oh, this is going to be Christian, and Christian. there's nothing wrong with anyone being Christian, but it doesn't resonate with me. So I thought, oh, God, this deck's not going to probably resonate with me, but I do love her artwork. I love her artwork, and I do love the images on this deck. So I'm going to have a go. I'm going to try and see how I get on, because, you know, I've got all her others, and I just love her artwork and there's some, some on the back. So we're going to see if I can work with it or not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. I mean, if I can't, then I'll just pass it on. But I've got to give it a go. <laughs> so that was that one. Then in Happy Glastonbury, and I had to ask the lady to get this out of the window because it was the only one she had. And it was on my wish list. And that is the Anatomy of a Witch Oracle, Cards for the Body, Mind and Spirit by Laura Tempest Zakroff. Yes, and she's the author of Weave the Liminal, which is a book that's on my wish list that I still haven't got. And there's 48 cards, and these are some of the backs. I love this. So I've got to ask and actually the lady when I asked her if she could get it out the window she said yes of course she said actually it's the only one we've got Ooh, we're so lucky there and the other deck I kind of was mm, should I shouldn't I and I went back a couple of times I'm sure Simon probably thought I was mad <laughs> but he kind of said to me yeah you should get it you should get it not that he was forcing me to get it of course not you know, if I didn't want it, I wouldn't get it. But he he said he could recommend it anyway. And that is the Green Wheel Oracle. So I thought I'm going to get it. 
and this is a two part box and you've got like the book and then the deck I mean, this is an older deck. It's been out for a while, um, but I, I will still show show it anyway. So that was everything apart from Sons of Asgard. So I will do a separate video for you guys for Sons of Asgard because otherwise, this video is going to be too long. I think. Um, so I've got a whole bag of goodies for Sons of Asgard and because they're so lovely in there I would like to kind of and you know their shops so lovely they are lovely not that other people in the other shops are not because they are um, but it was where I spent the most money and I just wanted to do like a separate like video um, for them really so what I will do is I will do um, the separate video for them I'm still like thinking should I shouldn't I <laughs> just do like um, a separate one or should I just carry it on because um, there is quite a lot of things that's the only thing yeah I think what I'll do is I will do a separate video <laughs> for these but it, it won't go up today though this hopefully this one will do but um, the other one I'll have to do um, tomorrow for Sons of Asgard um, because I don't think in any case I'm going to have time to show the things properly because I will be rushing because I've got a limited window of time now to do this so um, yeah but I just had such a lovely time there. I can't believe it's a week ago already. I just wish I could go back. I wish I could stay there. You know, um, it's just, it's it's always magical for me. It's just like my favourite place on earth. It, it, it honestly is. And, you know, if I could afford to just move there, I would. I would do it for sure. Um... And it's always kind of sad to come away and I'm always a bit so kind of, you know, and also it's either that I am, a, I'm either like in a sort of a bit more of a low mood or I'm like a bit hyper as if I kind of don't know what to do with myself. But that only happens when I come back from Glastonbury. It's like as if you've taken on this whole load of energy and now you've come away and now oh, what do I do with all this you know um, so today actually what I did was I started writing like a little story which is probably mad I'm not an author but I've started um, typing like a little story on this laptop just for myself really um, I've not even got one page in I'm about half a page in <laughs> but um, it's just for something to like do so yeah i hope you enjoyed this guys um and i will i will i promise be doing the sons of asgard haul um as soon as i'm able to hopefully tomorrow but i don't want to promise but as soon as i can i will be doing that for you okay and i will put the links to shops and things in the description below if they've got websites and yeah, hopefully I'll talk to you all tomorrow, or if not, at some stage this week. And I hope everyone's doing really well. Um, I know, you know, people are starting to get COVID and everything again. Not that it went away, but obviously at this time of year it probably gets worse. So I hope everyone's doing okay, and I will um, talk to you all soon. Bye.